the most magical place on the planet. And I'll give you a second to think about it. You might be thinking, oh, Wilson. Huh. Is it Domino's? You'd be close. <laughs> Is it Chuck E. Cheese? No, 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 I'm just gonna, okay, I'm just gonna tell you. Recently, I had the honor to visit Disney World, Epcot, and Magic Kingdom, and Universal Studios. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's the video. Um, welcome, welcome back. But yes, I went to Disney World. I did it, finally. Um, I've been before, <laughs> so it was more of a revisit, but uh, okay, I'll break it down here. I've never been to Universal, but I have been to Disney World. It was just a while ago. I was like three, four, five years old. I don't know. I was, I was young. I was a young little lad, me and my brother. Oh, someone's calling me. Hello? I don't know what uh, this is for exactly. All right, so I um, I envisioned this video to be more of a vlog because I did record like things at the park. Like I, I wanted, to, I, I didn't bring my like, my camera camera, but I brought my phone, um, and I wanted to, to film a bunch of videos, planning on it to be like a whole cut together. Like this is my experience at Disney World and Universal, but I didn't really end up recording too much. But um, I'll walk you through it. Don't worry. I have a little. Uh, agenda that we followed. I don't know how many people have actually been to Disney World or Universal. I don't know how, like, I know they're they're booming, absolutely booming. I know, like, so many people go there every day. Obviously, by my experience here, I'm about to talk about. I don't know how many of you, like, have, like, been there or whatever. I, I certainly did not know, like, the hype that was associated with it. I know the concept of the Disney adult. I also see a lot of failed uh, engagement videos of people just um, excuse me, babe. They're like in front of the castle and they're like, I, I, do you, will you say yes? Yeah, and so she's like not looking. Babe, can you look, can you look over here? I know you're taking a picture, taking a photo. Okay, can you just look over? I have a, okay. I'm just gonna move closer here. It's always something like that, you know. That's about all I've gotten in terms of the Disney World experience. I didn't actually think it was all that great. I know, maybe a, maybe a hot take, maybe not, I don't know. Um, it's just been a while since I've been there. And the last time I was at Disney World, I don't remember any of it. I don't, I don't remember a single second of being there. Hey, I, I, I'll say it, I was wrong about Disney World. I didn't think it was all that great until I went. And it was wonderful. It was beautiful. It was genuinely magical. And again, I haven't seen all of Universal, all of Disney World. Um, apparently there's more to it. I don't know. I went to Epcot and Magical King. Magic, what magic? But I experienced enough to know that those places are genuinely really awesome. Okay, starting off, uh, we need a little context here. How did we get to the parks? We didn't just go, right? We didn't just decide, hey, let's, let's go. It's after school. College just ended. Um, let's go to Disney. I was told, anyway, that my brother's girlfriend had invited us to go to Disney because she had enough points to let us in. Let me explain. She works there. Me and my brother were lucky enough to go down there and stay at, at her place for a few days and go to both of these parks. So we went to Disney World, Epcot, and Magic Kingdom one day, and then we went to Universal Studios the next day. And so it was just two, it was just a weekend, just packed, full of 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 rides and it like magic you know there's really no other way of saying it my brother's girlfriend i do have to say this before we get into it um brother's girlfriend maya if you're watching this thanks so much this wouldn't have happened without you we, we never would have gone um because it was just me and my brother going and visiting her um we took a flight all the way down to orlando and stayed at her place for a while so i just want to you know extend my gratitude um, this never would have, it would have happened if it weren't for her. So thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, this was awesome. And let's do it again sometime. Got to the airport, uh, in Orlando and already just right off the bat, it just, you could just feel the magic. I don't know if it was just something in the air, like the humidity or something getting to my head, something like that. You could, you could just feel it. You, you know, you're in Orlando and instantly you're like, boom, oh. 
like the advertisements and the billboards and the the mini like poster boards in the on the walls of the airport. Um, all these little signs just leading up to ooh. Yeah, we got there and we drove to Maya's place. We stayed the night. Next morning, we get up bright and early. Um, we left uh, and we got to Epcot, which stands for the Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. You have to understand how I was going into this experience. I don't know a lot about Disney World. I, I, I don't know like the, I don't know any of the rides. I don't know how it looks. I just know there's a castle somewhere, right? So I didn't even know what Epcot was. Um, so you can imagine getting here and getting that ticket, that physical car, where is it? Okay, we'll just put this, this guy, this bad boy right here. Oh, isn't it beautiful? And we got to this point where there were ropes we got to these ropes and it was like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We're, we're just waiting for these ropes to drop um, so that everyone could go in. And this is, it's 9 a.m., mind you. And there are just already hundreds of people waiting there to, to, to go in and ride the rides. It was, it, was, it was nuts. So I know we were technically here for research um, on the side, like figuring out, oh, is this like a cool place for me to possibly work one day? But Come on, we gotta ride the rides. This is what I wrote down here. Mission Space first, great start. Guardians of the Galaxy absolutely blew me away. And I'll, I'll put in some videos here. I was absolutely blown away. This ride, oh my lord, it's incredible. It's genuinely incredible. Um, I would go to Disney World just to ride that ride like four times, I would. We saw dolphins, they're so pretty. This was so crazy being here and finally seeing the castle in person. <laughs> oh man, I was, I was so excited. All these videos have genuine excitement. I'm lost, I don't know where I am. No idea where I am. Oh sick, okay, for sure. I'm gonna say the things that are obvious first, um, like my favorite rides. Um, I'd say my, I don't have a, a one favorite ride out of the whole like trip, but I will list my favorite rides from both Disney World, Epcot, Magic Kingdom, and Universal. So I adore Mission Space, Guardians of the Galaxy from Epcot. Um, I loved Tron, just so cool. Um, and Space Mountain from Magic Kingdom. Uh, and uh, Universal, uh, I loved Velocicoaster. <laughs> um, another thrill ride was Hagrid. Hagrid's motorcycle ride or something. I don't know, something, I don't know. I don't know the names, but you, hopefully you get what I'm talking about. You get an idea. Um, most of these were thrill rides. The Harry Potter castle, there was a ride inside of it. Just incredible, it, like absolutely blew me away. But I guess, you know, besides all of the rides being so great and awesome, Part of what makes them so awesome is not just the thrill, but the experience. Yeah, I was looking for the thrills after those first few rides. Just coming off of the high, it just felt so great. And I was like, this has gotta be the whole day. And it wasn't. <laughs> the other rides we rode on were actually quite tame. They were pretty calm in comparison. Um, and at first I was a little disappointed, um, but it wasn't all about the thrills. On, on either days, it, it was honestly just about getting the vibe. What's the vibe <laughs> of Disney World and Universal Studios? Obviously the rides were so cool uh, and so much fun. Uh, I, don't th I don't think there was any ride where I was like, I genuinely dislike this. No, every, every ride had so much craft into it. Mission Space was honestly the perfect ride to start with, in my opinion. It was, cause it was just so incredibly immersed in the space world. There was like rooms you were walking into. Before the ride even started, you would like walk into a room and get a mission debrief on a TV screen. And then you'd walk into another room and like get ready and like get assigned like a role that you're gonna have on the spaceship and like all these other things that like don't necessarily need to be there. Um, you could just get on the ride and get off and go home. Um, but it's not that. It, there, there's so many levels to it, so many layers that if they weren't there, it probably wouldn't be as intense of an experience or as emotional or as immersive, just in general. And that's, I think that is the bottom line of why I loved 
Disney World and Universal so much. Next to Universal, I would prefer Disney World. Just me personally. Um, like the Jurassic World area was super cool. Harry Potter World, absolutely stunning. Um, and I can't let that stuff go. I, I will never forget um, both of those parks. But Disney World, just something about it. Um, and the, le the level of immersion as an actor and a filmmaker who just really loves the experience of seeing a movie or a show of any kind. Um, art, experiencing art. Um, I feel like going to Disney World and Universal this this past weekend was such a treat that I that I like needed because because now I feel so creatively invigorated. I want to make more things now. I want to make more videos and films and just creative projects that are just out there in the world that that I'm proud of. Um, that and getting all that from a day at the park is really cool, man. If I get a little bit of that, I, I personally pass that on to you and invite you to spend hundreds of dollars to go and um, experience it. Now, it. now it seems like, you know, going to these places, I go into like amusement parks or seeing movies and stuff like that. I'm just becoming, slowly I'm becoming more aware, I feel like. Not as, I'm, I'm not just mindlessly going for entertainment or the adrenaline rush or whatever. I also feel like I'm going with like an artist's perspective, ready to like extract the the creative juices out of like that experience, movie, you know, roller coaster, and inject it into my projects. Um, those are great words, thank you. Um, so much fun. Ugh, just gets me so pumped up just thinking about it. You know, the whole experience was just like, I've been rambling for an hour, something like that. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it there, but thank you for watching. Hope you got something out of this. I had to talk about it. Uh, it was so much fun. And I will definitely go back to the most magical place on earth. <sighs> All right, thanks for watching guys. I love you. I'll see you next week. That was my review on the most magical place on the planet. Disney World and Universal, let's go! <laughs>